Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another all-time team. Today we have the New York Giants. Barely, man. Barely edging out the number two team in voting. But you guys want to see the New York Giants, so let's go ahead and not waste any time and hop into the lineup. Now, unfortunately, the lineup isn't exactly complete. It's not as good as I wanted it to be. We'll start things off at the quarterback position, man. Eli Manning had to go with him to be the starting quarterback of the New York Giants. I know some of you guys are telling me to get Kurt Warner. I mean, he only played, what, 10 games with the Giants? And in those 10 games, he wasn't even that good. Phillip Rivers was another one you guys were suggesting, but Phillip Rivers didn't even actually play for the New York Giants, so I definitely really don't consider him as an all-time New York Giant. Now, at the running back position, we do have Andre Williams, my boy out of Boston College. He's going to be the starting running back behind him. Shane Vereen, the movers, 96 overall addition. He'll be the third down running back. And, of course, I can't forget about Jennings. He's only an 84 overall, but, you know, i got to get him in the mix, give him some handoffs. Now, at the wide receiver position, definitely a position where the Giants have some talent. Wide receiver number one, man. We're going with that ultimate team, Plexico Burris. Across from him, Odell Beckham Jr., I actually pulled this Odell Beckham Jr. when it came out. Unfortunately, I don't have enough coins to get a 99 overall Odell Beckham Jr. You guys do see I have about 600k left. And you guys are probably saying, TD, you're cheaping out. But I have some guess who's playing this week. Quite a few with quite a few different YouTubers. So I need to save my coins so I can buy some flashbacks. So Plexico Burris, Odell Beckham Jr. at the 1 and 2. And then in the slot, we do have Victor Cruz. Hopefully this man can come back this year. Definitely never want to see your player go down like he did last year. So hopefully Victor Cruz back at it this year, getting things done. At number four, we do have Ruben Randall. And at number five, who's actually a tight end, I decided to go ahead and get Bennett. He did play a year with the Giants, and that was the year. There was a lot of controversy. His weight was near 300 pounds. There was rumors he was going to get cut. He ended up having a knee injury, but this man, he came out, he battled, caught five touchdowns. I want to go ahead and get Mario Manningham. Not a great card, but a player I feel definitely made an impact in the Giants organization. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can scoop him up. Now the offensive line, not very good. You guys can see inside here, not a whole lot going on. We got Flowers at right tackle. He's actually a left tackle, but everyone else, man, not looking good. I mean, this card's actually an 81 overall, but he's only a 66 at the right guard position. We got Richburg, who's supposed to be the starting center from my understanding. I could be wrong. He's a 70 overall. We got Schwartz, 75. So yeah, not a whole lot going on at the offensive line. Then at the tight end, we do have this six foot six monster. And I may say his last name wrong because I went on YouTube to try and look up how to say Larry Donnell's name. And I heard three different things. I heard Donnell, I heard Donnell, and I heard done now I don't know what it is maybe you Giants fans can help me out but this is the offense for the all-time New York Giants now we'll swing things over to the defense and the defensive line is the thing we're going to talk about because it's just not fair I know some of you guys were saying get Cameron Wake but he's another one he never actually played a game for the Giants so I don't consider him an all-time Giant but we got Justin Tuck we got Jason Pierre-Paul we got Hankins in the middle a bunch of flashbacks a 99 overall position hero the defensive line being a Patriots fan I know how good these guys are and I'm definitely excited to play with them now the secondary starting things off with the cornerbacks number one not here yet can't find them that's that throwback combine warrior DRC at number two we have Walter Thurman who did sign with the Eagles this offseason we got Prince of Mukamura in the slot we got McBride I want to say also Zach Bowman is going to be in the mix at number five now taking a look at the linebackers we have Lawrence Taylor, another card I pulled this year, the 99 Legend LT. In the middle, we got McLean, we got Herzlick backing him up, and we also do have John Beast. And I want to say there's another final edition card I could put here. I want to say, I don't know who it is, but I know there's someone that I can get for the left outside linebacker position that I'll definitely pick up. Now, it's strong safety of Landon Collins, the man they just drafted this year. Apparently, this guy wants to be like. Not the next Sean Taylor, but he looks up to him, and apparently this guy could be a beast. 96 hit power, 94 speed. Definitely excited to see how he's going to play. And then at free safety, I want to get that 98 overall on trail roll. Can't find him on the auction house. Another player that can go there is Quentin Demps. Once again, man, I can't find him either. Then take a look at the special test. Really not a whole lot to look at here. Probably put DRC returning kicks. We do have Brown as the kicker. Still looking for Weatherford as punter. So if you guys have any of these players... 
that you want to sell to me let me borrow for a game or two that'd be excellent but here it is man the all-time new york giants let me know what you guys think any advice on who i should pick up if i miss a guy let me know in the comment section down below and also leave a comment on what team you guys want to see next i just want to take a second thank you guys for all the support and until next time i'm td presents and i'm signing out peace